In this case, we're, we're going to be we're talking about this this little implant ambulance type vehicle, but let's talk about this under the terms or along the lines of it's a it's a highlight something that we're used to seeing flying around the, the plants. Can I use a vehicle like a Hilo for an anchor? Yeah, yeah, anchor. yeah absolutely. You know, does it have mass? Well, a Hilo is probably weighing eight, ten thousand pounds for a small one. Maybe even more than that for a, for a, definitely more than that for a larger one. So it has mass. Where would you attach to the Hilo? Okay, so somewhere near the, the, the counterweight probably, because that's a pretty hefty thing. And that's probably also the place where the tie down points are. I wouldn't want to attach maybe to the roll cage. That's the part that's usually bent from having banged into something, right? And it's not definitely not the strongest part of the high low. So I want to get to the structure of that high low and hook onto that. What's the biggest concern with using mobile anchors, stuff that will drive around? Roll, roll, move. Okay, it can move either incidentally, it might roll a little bit, you know, because I'm putting force on it. But what's the bigger concern? Some dude's going to come along and drive it away, right? Or move it when I didn't want him to. So the big caution with using mobile stuff, in addition to how I attach to it, I want to attach to some place that's strong, something that's structural, something that's not going to damage my equipment. I want to I want to disable it. So how do I do that? Take the key. Do, do most hilos have a key? Yeah. Some some do. Some have a little code, a little key, uh, you know, a keypad that you got to enter in. I'll plug the battery. There you go. Disconnect the battery. Turn off the gas. Right. I want to make sure that that thing's got going to move. Chalk the wheels so it's not going to roll incidentally. And you might even give thought to not pulling in the direction that the that the machine moves, but maybe pulling perpendicular to the machine so that it cannot roll or is less likely to roll. Okay. So those would be things to think about when you're using mobile stuff for anchors, which is a good option because I can put it right where I want it, right? So that's something to think about as well, okay? So we've talked about um, anchors to evaluate their use, their intended use, and how we're going to load them. We want stuff that has mass, that's well constructed, in good condition, in the right location. Basically, when we're looking at stuff, we're talking about what are the bomb-proof parts of the building. The structural components, columns, beams, girders, things of that nature are the things that we're looking to attach to. Parts of the contents of the building, a press or some kind of machine, heavy, well attached to the floor, those are the things we want to be hooking to. Is bomb proof, is that a good term? We all good with that? You know, if, if a bomb went off, that thing would still be there. All my rope stuff disappeared, but the, the anchor point's still there. That's what we're looking for, is those things. And that's the world that you guys work in. There's all kinds of stuff all over there that fits that category. 